the wonderful students. I hope you're doing well this marvelous day. Um, today, what I'm gonna ask you to do is a chemistry scavenger hunt of some items found on the periodic table, as well as any items that relate to chemistry that are found in your own home. And then I'd like you to work on any missing assignments because the end of the quarter is coming in just a few days and we wanna make sure that your grades are all caught up. So in Google Classroom is a doc titled Periodic Table Scavenger Hunt. Um, some of the questions you're going to have to uh, open up your periodic table and ptable.org, which I'll attach to Google Classroom. And you're going to have to revisit some basics like how many groups are on the periodic table, how many periods, uh, what's the total number of elements. But then, uh, then there are some other little questions that involve like uh, find an example of a solid, liquid, or gas in your own home and then take a picture of it. So, for example, I'll say ice. You have an ice cube at home, that would be an example of a solid. Uh, you turn on the water faucet, that would be an example of a liquid. Um, and, and so you'll have to like come up with some of those. Uh, and then some of them are kind of unique in just getting the experience of looking at the periodic table. So list all the elements that are named after people. For instance, curium is named after Madame Curie. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, find an object made of aluminum in your home and take a photo of it and place it in the box. So that could be something like an aluminum can or aluminum foil. So things I just want you to kind of explore uh, related with chemistry that are found in your own uh, home. And then I have here a bonus. See if you can figure out these pure table puns, okay? So um, uh, this these are things that have to do with uh, the elements and you kind of have to guess what element they are. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you have a good day and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you again. So, bye.